Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this earth sign reading. You must sage the cars for all of my earth gods, Capricorn, Virgo, and motherfucking Taurus. Let's see what's going down for the weekend. I'm going to get the overall energies, and then we're going to see what's going on in love. So, let's see what's up. Capricorn's very first card for you, for your overall energy. Uh-oh. is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So there's definitely something that you're either traveling to or traveling towards with this Knight of Pentacles or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be very influential in your life as well. Another earth sign. But I'm seeing that for some of you guys, this is definitely with the justice energy. You're ready to set some new beginnings. I do have two Knights here. Okay, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. So somebody is definitely coming your direction, Capricorn. So get motherfucking ready. Let's get these magical messages from the fairies. Give me the messages for my Capricorns for the weekend. It says goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Talk to me, baby. So Capricorns are saying, somebody saying goodbye to the dusty. And hello to the motherfucking new. Now, some of y'all might be changing up your diets as well. Okay? Could be eating some smoothies and proteins and working out. All right? But it says, easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything. The doors will open for you, Capricorn. So definitely saying goodbye to the old and hello to the motherfucking new. You got a Leo Sagittarius Aries energy that is here, baby. So... This is somebody who's trying to get to that action as well. Definitely with a lot of these knights here. Be on the lookout for that. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. And then we will take a peek into your love life. Here we go. Give me the messages for my Capricorns. All right, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, and release your little dusty. <laughs> this could be somebody from your past. The time has come. You might be having to clear out some sort of contract. Okay, and making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. So for some of you Capricorns, you might need to take some efforts into figuring your situation out when it comes down to what you can do. Okay, so let's see what's popping we also have children. Children are being affected by your love life for some of you Capricorns. All right, here we go. So let's see what the tarot has to say, baby. Could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female with this King of Cups in reverse. I did just see her. Give me one more shuffle for my Capricorns. In love. Here we go. To my Capricorns in motherfucking love. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So I'm seeing that somebody is definitely standing around trying to figure out what they're trying to order or what is coming into play. I do feel like you guys have a lot of options or somebody definitely has some options here. All right. Now on your partner's side, I feel like Two of Cups, Strength Energy, they're thinking about... You know, if, they, if you guys have blocked each other or if there's somebody who's cut a connection off, somebody is definitely coming back, okay? Trying to have some sort of um, new beginning. This is definitely, yeah, Ten of Cups here. So I'm seeing a lot of 
a lot of love here, Capricorn, coming out. Now, some of you guys definitely have some things to think about or are going to the drawing board, like I said, with the Three of Pentacles. But friendships and love is definitely here to stay. I do see partnerships as well with the lovers and the Two of Cups. Things could be coming in twos. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh-oh. So, let's see. Um... I am getting that for some of you guys. Could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like somebody's definitely cutting someone off with this Five of Wands, Page of Wands here in reverse. But I'm, I'm getting that this could be somebody who's bringing in a lot of um, disruptive behaviors. Thanks. Okay. But I'm seeing Capricorn. Some of you guys are going to have some things that are justified. Possible outcomes. I feel like you're moving ahead. You have the chariot energy, the magician, and I'm getting that some of you guys might feel as though somebody's, um, you know, tricking some shit off or doing some extra shit, but I feel like somebody's definitely wanting to come into their power. You can see it two different ways with this magician here. Could be a little trickster, but I feel with the empress here, somebody is definitely thinking about uh, either a pregnancy or starting something new, okay? Getting Aries energy here, Leo, Sag. So let's see about possible outcomes. Some of you guys could have walked away from a situation or definitely just taking your time to gather your bags together. Honey, you have the Queen of Swords here. So I do feel like possible outcomes. There might be some truths that come out with this High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. It might just bluntly come out. Um, but I'm seeing that there is some truth here. Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, snaps. So somebody's truth is about to fall out of their ass, Capricorn. <laughs> this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. All right. So let's see about my singles. Give me three cards for my single Capricorns. You have the Nine of Wands coming in reverse. So somebody's definitely dropping... A lot of dead weight. You might feel like you could have been guarded towards something at one point in time. I feel like a lot of you guys are progressing towards work or just really into your work. Some of you guys might need to think about the alchemy of relationships or how you're bringing in your relationships, why you're not getting them, why you're wanting them, things of that nature. Just questioning certain shit like that because I have the five of cup energy here. A lot of you guys might feel like, you know, people just be lying and shit. All right. Or people ain't even really, you know. They're not even like on your level, but I'm getting that, you know, some people have issues with their own morals and their own values. So definitely think about that for some of you single Capricorns, all right? So let's see uh, what the rebel messages have to say, and then we're going to get an oracle card. Give me three cards for my Capricorns for the motherfucking weekend. It says time to let go. Move the fuck on, all right? And give zero fucks. You're giving way too many. And if you feel someone's lying, they motherfucking are, okay? Give me one more for my Capricorns. Drop the ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. So somebody might have a real big ego or you just let shit go, okay? Let it loose. Or your person definitely needs to let things go as well too, all right? Let's see what the Oracle deck has to say for my Capricorns for the motherfucking weekend, baby. Yeah, it says a tempting offer has a high price. So for some of you Capricorns, I'm seeing that there is an offer that could be very tempting. But you definitely need to think about, you know, the precious memories that you're putting into shit because there is some sweet memories that might be happening over the weekend, but think about the offer, okay? So, we also have an important end is coming for a new beginning. So, get your ass ready, baby. All right? Okay, so, here we go to my motherfucking Taurus, darlings. Give me the overall energies for my Taurus for the weekend. Give me the overall energy. Some of you guys might be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I do see the Princess of Wands. Will of Fortune, very first energy here. So there's some time here that's being spent, baby. It could be somebody from the past because these two came out together. 
So I'm seeing Cancer Pisces Scorpio also could be dealing with somebody um, with Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But I'm getting a lot of water energy here. But there is something that's definitely changing or coming about for you, Taurus. Could be someone from the past. Let's see what the magical messages from the fairies, what they have to say. Here we go. It says, to whom do you need to forgive? As you release your old anger and resentment, you find that your wishes are going to be coming true. Okay, give it to me. Give me some more. Give me two more. We got assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really fucking want to, Taurus. So don't be giving everybody your all and these motherfuckers ain't talking about a damn thing. So you tell these motherfuckers, no, nah, I don't like that shit. I'm not doing that shit and I ain't having that shit. Straight like that. So let's see what's going on. We are going to get the weed first. <laughs> So, and then I'm going to get the magical messages from the fairies. Let's see what's popping for my tortoise. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life, tortoise, darlings. So some of you guys might be having some issues with your finances or your person might be having issues with their finances, but I'm definitely getting that. Uh, you're going to be focused on that with that Wheel of Fortune, baby. Could be some time that's changing things that are going in different places that you didn't expect. I love it. Taurus. Okay. So let's see what else we got. Reconciliation. Okay. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Taurus. And also true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So somebody might be taking you back, baby. But I feel like your financial issues, some of you guys might be trying to figure out what you're going to be doing next. More versus, you know, looking at a love or a relationship. Okay, or that might be affecting your relationship. So, Taurus, I definitely see there could be some forgiving and learning or something that you're going to have to trust as you're forgiving and learning the situation and healing from it. But you got that reconciliation coming up, so somebody's definitely wanting to deal with you, baby. Okay, again and again and again. <laughs> Let's see what's up. We're going to see what's going on between you and your partner. Taurus, some of you all can be dealing with a, another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm also seeing Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is very, um, might be very important to you. World energy here. Eight of Cups on your end. So I feel like you want some something to be completed, even though someone's imbalanced. You also have the star energy here. So you could be dealing with a Aquarius. Also, a Sagittarian energy. Okay. There's some healing happening between you two, but I'm feeling like somebody is definitely wanting to discover some other things or they're wanting to um, be on that new, that new beginning. Ace of Pentacles here between you and your partner. Also Empress energy here. So I feel like between you and your partner and love, there could be something major coming up with this hair font that somebody's seeking out. Some sort of decision that's being made with this two of swords here, okay? I'm getting Virgo here. Let's see about possible outcomes. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune once again. So you guys are definitely having some things change within your foundation or your household. Six of Cups here. Yeah, there's definitely uh, something that's changing from your past or family or friend that's coming in your vicinity that's wanting to visit you could be in your home as well because the four of wands does indicate home okay or somebody who could be older but i'm definitely seeing uh, possible outcomes you got people that are wanting to celebrate with you joy and love also could be um dealing with a leo sagittarius aries ace of cups here Taurus, us darling yes for the gods 
We got the Six of Wands, so somebody is bringing in some success and love, baby. Possible outcomes for the weekend. Could be dealing with a lot of confidence as well. Or someone who's in their confidence. So, let's see what's going on with my single Taurus for the weekend. We got the Justice energy here and also the Five of Wands. So, some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Also, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries with this Five of Wands in reverse, but I'm feeling like there's something that's uh, coming even, okay, or becoming even. Two of Wands here. This could be a, a perspective or the things that are coming out in the truth for some of you singles, but I'm seeing that some of y'all might be getting out and about and needing to mix and mingle. It's definitely what I'm getting here. So, uh, for some of you guys, this could be, like I said, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. So, be aware of that. Um, let's see what the rebel messages have to say, and then we'll take a look at the oracle cards. Here we go. It says, eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Okay, that could be some uh, uh, beans. Okay, you bring me my bean burrito. <laughs> that also could be, uh, for some of y'all, changing your diet up eating some things that might help you with your digestive system or just all together needing some real motherfucking food, all right? But it says, stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen, okay? So somebody needs to be quiet. You also could be sleeping a lot. Stop sleeping so much. Wake up, you're missing some cool ass shit. I did see Drink That Smoothie um, card. It says, you're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle that shit. All right. So let's see what the other oracle has to say. But definitely eating healthy is what it, the vibes is giving me. Some of y'all might be having some digestive issues, like I said, or needing to change up what's in your diet. So oracles up in this bitch. We have guidance, but where will it lead you? So somebody is feeling, you know, kind of misguided or somebody needs to find or shine some light on a situation. But it's saying that you have powerful personal growth coming up for the weekend. And one more. It says you miss someone and death from death comes reverse. So I do get that this could be a Scorpio that you could be dealing with. Uh, but for some of you guys, I feel like you got a lot of personal growth that's coming in. And as you're going through your personal growth, you might miss someone or someone might miss you. But you got to understand, you know, where it's going to lead you, where those thoughts are going to take you. So, good luck on that, honey. Because <laughs> that is a hard thing to do as a human being. All right. So, Virgo, let's see what's popping. Give me the overall energies for my Virgos for the motherfucking weekend. Virgos for the weekend. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. I'm also getting Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. Let's see what's up. Seven of Pentacle energy here. So I'm getting that for a lot of you Virgos. Somebody's in contemplation mode or you're definitely thinking about what you finna invest in, what you finna, you know, take a look into. She looks very curious as well with this uh, seven of pentacles. So some of y'all Virgos might be curious for the motherfucking weekend, but definitely taking a look at your investments and you might be doing a little bit of magic with this magician energy here. So keep that in mind. Let's see what the magical messages from the fairies, what their message is for you Virgos. We got business venture, trust and follow through on a new business idea or a career opportunity. Look at these motherfuckers with this gold, Virgo. And patience, please. What you've asking for is coming about. Have patience. Are, there are unforeseen factors that need to occur first. So I'm seeing somebody needs to take their motherfucking time. It might be some things that you're trying to rush and you don't even need to rush that shit. So let's see what the romance angels 
I have to say for my Virgos in love. Here we go. For the weekend, Virgos in love. It's safe for your motherfucking ass to love. <laughs> Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of y'all might be stuck in hermit mode, all right? But you need to open that shit up. Some of y'all might need to free yourself from a little dusty motherfucker. It's time to take back your control in your life. And some of y'all might be having chemistry. So it could be three different ways. I don't know. Shit, you might need to take a break from the motherfucker that you got chemistry with. However the case may be, I'm seeing there's a lot of new beginnings coming in that you need to open your mind to. Let's see what's popping. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Cancetian energy. Did you see the chariot? Let's see what's going on with Virgo and love. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces as well, too. You got the Ace of Swords here in reverse, also the King of Swords. So I'm seeing that um, there's somebody who's definitely spying on your relationship. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also... A lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here already with that page of swords. I'm seeing this could be somebody that you shut out. Yeah, because you got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Emperor in reverse as well. Damn. So I feel like somebody's just having to take a step back. This could be somebody that's um, watching your relationship or watching could be watching your money as well too with this page of Pentacles right next to it. So just be aware of that in your relationship. But I feel somebody's doing some really impulsive-like behavior. You might need to watch what they're saying to you because I do have the Five of Wands here as well. Might be a little bit of confusion in your overall energy, but Six of uh, Cups, Lover's energy here. So this is somebody who's either coming back from the past or somebody that you're definitely missing. Or you're going to be enjoying the memories in the past or the moments. So, Knight of Wands here. Somebody's going to be making an action towards you or they're moving towards you in love. So, let's see possible outcomes, Virgo. For the weekend, Herophon in reverse. Six of Swords. Somebody might be moving away. They might feel as though they're not doing things that are morally right. Okay, and they have to move away into a better direction with the Six of Swords here. Definitely could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius possible outcomes but i feel like some truth is coming out with this high priestess four of pentacles it could be with a third party situation with this three of swords that there's some truth coming out for sure okay or definitely just information so let's take a look um i feel possible outcomes a lot of you guys are getting some time alone with that hermit energy like i said before <clears throat> but Somebody's got a lot of things in the air. I am getting that family time is definitely going to be important over the weekend or the time that you're spending with your family is definitely going to be uh, something that's added into the memory book of some sort. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying right now. <laughs> you also got the Ten of Cups. I'm seeing rainbows and shit, okay, and cups and land and grass and some more shit. So some of you guys might be going out on some sort of adventure. Yeah, Two of Wands energy here. So let's see about singles. I'm getting some of you guys need to get outside. Single Virgos for the motherfucking weekend. Here we go. Give it to me, spirits. Shuffle the cards one more time. Though some of you guys just don't really feel like being bothered with people or building up partnerships, trying to fix it and work things out. Yeah, you got the Eight of Pentacles and also the Eight of Swords. So definitely surrounding yourself with information or just surrounding yourself with um, you being alone, you feel like you don't want to move forward and, you know, dealing with other people. Being blinded as well, too, or, or coming into a situation feeling blinded. But I'm seeing that for a lot of you guys who are just all about your money, all about your business. This could be uh, some of you guys in the occult or you're into the occult. But just manifesting here is what I'm getting for some of you singles. So let's see what the rebel messages have to say. I did just see love. Okay. Here we go. Damn, it says you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. 
clean yourself up. Damn. So maybe someone in your surrounding energy looks like that. I don't know too many Virgos who be acting like that. But you do have money. Make it rain on these bitches. It says you're the best thing to ever happen to you as well. Go ease on your ass and buy your own damn drink. So a lot of you Virgos need to take it lightly. Don't be, you know, feeling like people are exploiting you. Whatever you're thinking about, don't you do that shit. If it feels impulsive, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. So maybe take a step back and withdraw. Think about what you're going to do next for long-term goals instead of, you know, just temporary shit. So we got release your power, dress of alchemy, okay? And also aloha healing. So some of you guys are starting to see how you're magicians, okay? And I'm also getting a lot of... Not only just healing, but using a lot of your natural nature. It says a powerful energy shift as well, too. So there's something definitely changing about in your life. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. Make sure you check out my four questions for $25 in the description box down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.